episode 18 and we are 826 days gone which doesn't make sense because um, he's already found his wife so I don't know what the days gone means in real in relation to that you know like I thought it was days gone from when he last saw his wife is it like from the apocalypse I don't know. But we gotta go watch one of these stupid uh, meetings, so let's do that first. Bum, bum, bum. My brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Captain Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. Yeah. Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war. As we take the right. fight to yeah, the yeah, freaks, yeah, yeah. Yeah. as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all evil and throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place, there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels. And we are coming. Company dismissed. easiest way to earn trust right there is just listen to the creepy stash rant. Okay, so you can't be replaced. We'll see about that. Who's this, Doc? Yeah. I think. Taylor. What's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> mm. I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. <gasps> He's gay. I knew it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
That would be a horrible side twist. Like, normally I'm all for representation, but don't give me creepy stash as a gay man. Please, I don't think I can take it. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to have no rep representation than bad representation, you know? I'll stick with just Doc. And Addie and Ricky. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. You can't get what I need there. You. How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you could get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you gonna take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Cloverdale. Oh, God. Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's static. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I and mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Hmm. Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems. Are they gonna follow us? Hey, hey, shut it off! I bet they do. You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's giving us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way.
Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I yeah, it's not honest. letting me drive. It's like, you know, we don't want you to uh, crash you know, burn. See another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so... Watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't wanna... I didn't wanna let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. Gonna be interesting when it let me drive again when it lets me drive again because uh, I'm not gonna be ready for it well oh, cut scene first you need your help to move that out of the way my god what the hell is that that is a sigil it's a warning sign from the rippers what's a ripper Rippers, rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on, Sarah, any day now. Let's go. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds mm. horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Oh, we are back on the normal side. What's funny is it it won't let me go up any on the map. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. All right, here we are. I 
that's a good tip. It's my favorite one. If you're feeling overwhelmed, get on your bike and make some distance. Leave the gate open. I think I understand what happened. made them so hyper aggressive makes them a pain in my ass I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet okay come on right. what the hell happened here Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? 
I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocol. person eats a lot of corn. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice.
ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time... Alert. We go in together. Alert. 911 has been called. Where'd you go? Police are on their way. Okay. Stand <laughs> Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override, and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Alert. Alert. This is level 4 alarm. Multiple shots. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Same here. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator Alert. for assistance. Alert. Ooh. You fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Listen, I don't want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention when they're all 
looking up. I'm gonna go in from here. I'm gonna take him by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But now there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out. Here's your ID code, ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009, you got that? Uh, 5429009, uh, is that right? They got a helicopter. Thank 
He's like, what happened to my wife? It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David I'm... Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and... he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Classic bioweapons backfire. Hmm. Uh, Makes you uh, thankful our own pandemic right now isn't zombies. It's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. I wonder how many of the zombie apocalypse people were like, I'm not wearing no damn mask and got infected two days later. Hmm. Guess we'll... We'll see if it, uh, opens up any more lure. Oh, frick. He wouldn't have let me shot him anyway. Uh, I don't remember having a pistol. Yeah, yeah, 
now. That does it. Burn you little bastards. Where's the other one? No, I don't want that. Give me this crap. Thanks. Where'd he go? Wait, we're gonna turn off the electric fences? Oh, poop. This place is gonna be over no, in like two days. Two days. Come on, man. Oh. That's not going to turn off the irrigation system? Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh... The, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron my to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was me when I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dick? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay? And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle? I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. John, this is Curry. Where are you? When 
One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, head... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <laughs> The bad news is, they're going to see exactly where we've gone. Because there's going to be a clear trail of snow. So. I mean, they know we're going over the pass. And they could probably look up and see where there used to be a research facility around here. So they kind of know the area. But anyway, let, let's see where this goes. Looking like the Adler's place. It's clear. Super snowed in, okay. Oh man, they're gonna think they went AWOL. Hey, you gonna come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Him checking out that non existent ass. <laughs> oh, man. Interesting music. 
Hi, I'm a conical. I'm a little baby. Okay, loading screen. Woo, love it. Oh, that was a bad idea. They shouldn't have done that. Keep it in your pants. A remote bomb. Ooh, that sounds interesting. You got a problem? problem. <laughs> you got a problem? <laughs> yeah, I got a problem. Okay, the alchemist. Yeah, I think we're going to do that one. Okay, and we got another trophy. St. John, come in. No, this God. is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? We need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The okay. infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. An incident? Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. Alright, let's see what's going on. It's been like two seconds. What's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. Taylor killed him. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. Well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a gentleman. You knew? Oh, man. I bet that corporal's gonna kill them both. And I can't wait. Creepy Stash. Okay, well, let's see what Creepy Stash has to say about all this. Probably a quote from the Bible, as usual. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. Dark to many of you. Is gone. Taken from us on the eve of our great victory. Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour, tending our sick, our injured, our wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life, though for that I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks, perhaps in all the world. My eyes have been opened. I see now the great mistake. I mean, look at- Medical journals, medical books, and encyclopedia we have in state. But who now, when this terrible war is over, Yeah. will teach us how to 
Yeah, he's got to be bi at least. If not fully gay. Look at that. My lover. Oh, heaven forbid. That was beautiful. Where are the roses? Let me throw some roses at your feet, man. Creepy stash. Oh god, has it glitched out? Okay, that scared me for a second. Of course they killed the gay. <laughs> when wouldn't they? God. Oh, sometimes, man, sometimes. Okay. Um. Infestation. That. I mean, there's something to do over there. What is this? Just checking in. I mean, we could. Well, we could do this one. Or I could wait around. Let's let's see if there's any upgrades for our bike. We've got eight thousand dollars. There might be a little something something we can do. Deke. Hey, yeah, shut up. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. <gasps> that go. You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Okay, no, I'm Deke, uh, Corporal. See you, man. Bye, man. Corporal Saint. Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. A Chicago so, uh, chopper. You're the guy to come to for hardware. You got it, pal. You need guns, I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Actually, I kind of want this one. <gasps> Hello? What's your name? Your rate of fire is a little bit worse, but boy, howdy. Look at all that other crap. Oh, the magazine shit. Never mind. Never mind, we're not doing that. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I mean, that one, that one's not too bad. I... I'm considering it. I don't got all day. Shut well, up. I do, but still, come on. Hey, you be careful with that one. They'll shoot your eye out. Yeah, huh. okay. Hey, you want it? I got it. Oh, big spender. Okay, now that's more like it. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? There you go. Huh? Ah, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later. Okay. Well, I guess we get to do what we want for a little bit, so let's go over here. Holy crap, where is that? Oh, God. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. But once, once I'm over there, I can... I can, uh, fast travel. That's the only reason I want to go over there, is just to unlock the fast travel. We need to check out our new weapons. We got that Chicago chopper. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. Yeah, that too. Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see. Radio me if you do. Corporal. Corporal wants Taylor alive. Yeah. Copy that. Send John out. Another marauder camp. Yeah. I seen what you assholes are up to. Colonel, reporting in. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. We'll have this fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him in dusk. Fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. Uh, yes. Fair trial. Then, uh, right. Anyway, 
Just reporting in, St. John's. <laughs> Another MMU. Wonder what Nero left behind this time. <laughs> I gotta burn him out. I gotta make it safer to ride. I didn't even like turn that one off. I'm glad it turned off by itself. It just knows me. It's like, man. It's like, we know you don't want to hear this, ma'am. We're sorry for bothering you. Camp full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. Let me just do a quick save. We're going through some dangerous territories. Dude, well, that's fine. Oh, shit. Yeah, we Oh, ow. Come on, get, get on your bike and go. What am I doing? I thought this was a cam. More bounties. St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, oh my god, this weapon is beautiful. You sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just follow orders. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh. Hi, lady. How the hell are you doing, Lieutenant? I'm still in shock. Thank God I've given up hope. Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. You may as well just pack it in. Keep that in mind next time I'm ambushed by a dozen squatters. You okay? All right, listen. Camp's clear and your bike's still in one piece, so can you just get back alone, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. Thank you, St. John. Sure. Now get going. Go. Get, get out of here. Go.
Alright, well, we better get out of here before this whole place goes up. What hostage? Oh, look. What hostage is there? I'm good. Sir, reporting in. It's uh, well, oh Jesus, it wasn't easy, but I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Good work, Corp. I'll send the patrol out now. She said she could make it on her own, so uh, I'll radio in later. Make sure she made it. St. John out. Ah. The nest. Let's go. your convenience. It's almost like they're starting to respect me. Oh, okay. anymore for a second I thought all those like weeds and stuff were zombies and I was about to scream luckily we can avoid that okay maybe I, am on left. I will burn this nest though while I'm here and if we have to run we have to run Colonel sir just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood 
She claims that you took on an entire Well, I wasn't about to leave her in there alone, sir. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to run. Okay, well that sucked. But not too bad. I love it when this game is actually about zombies. Which is why I think the story is going on for too long. It's just too many humans. Like, I don't... I'm good. I work with humans. Like, I'm... <laughs> I get enough of this bullshit every day. Alright, Taylor. What the hell are you doing out here? Probably overdosing on Oxy. <laughs> Oh, I hear newts. I mean, like, logically, he's gonna be overdosing, right? Oh. Bottles, they wanna make sure I have enough. I really like the Chicago Chopper. sniper Is that Jim? No, wait, we killed him. Who the hell's that? Oh my god, did Taylor just kill him? Oh my god, I don't like all these newts around me.
They didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I can't. I don't wanna... Hey, listen to me, Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention. <laughs> and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Please. Don't let them hate me. He shouldn't have killed him, man. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this. Goodbye, Taylor. Oh well. Let's see what else we have to do. Yeah, creepy stash isn't gonna be happy. And actually, I don't know if Corey actually defects with us or not. Hmm. I can't recall. I guess we'll see. I wanted that jacket. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. <laughs> oh. yes, this creepy stash knew it was us. Does he know that we knew? That's pretty nice. Oh, we get a skill point. Okay. And we're gonna go with this one. We definitely need that stamina increase. So I think I'm happy with everything we've gotten. And now we just need to fill in the gaps. So I think first I'll do... 
Melee? Yeah, because some of these range ones, I mean... I got all the range ones I need. These two are the only ones that are left. I don't need that. Alright, what's next on our list? Diamond Lake Camp. We could do that. Wait. Can I not fast travel? My bike not full? It should make it up there. Okay, well, whatever. I guess we, they want us to bike. We can do that if we have to. Fine, fine, fine. And these new guns have renewed my interest. I can't wait to use them. I mean, that Chicago chopper is a lot of fun. And once I can get a new machine gun, I'll I'll buy it. Oh, what you want, Sarah? Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. Sound cheerful. Breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Well, we're just gonna go see what Corey wants. Since we're already mostly here. And, oh crap, he burned this down. I need some gas, man. That's fine, that's fine. My bike. Jesus. Did you hear what happened to Dr. Menace? A crook slit his throat ear to ear. S stole some drugs, I heard. Yeah, I, uh, I heard. Look, was a good guy. I, I had an infection on my right arm. Thought I was gonna lose it, but, but he saved it. Uh, my, my arm. Oh, I saved my life. Yeah, uh, the doc was, he was alright. Corporal, stay safe out there. Yeah, 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 shut up. All right, Corporal. come here. Deacon. Good. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia. Yeah, I mean, it does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross. Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross. I don't know him, but, uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Dismissed. Nice, nice. Alright, let's go back to see Sarah. We can do that other one later. Whoops, I went the wrong way. See, this part right here reminds me of Seven Days to Die. Because you do have the fallout area. Please don't get in my way. Woohoo! 
And then uh, we can start banging out some of those uh, trophies too. Like we need to use nitrous and drift at the same time. I might have to look up a guide, see if there's any certain locations that are best for that. And we're going downhill, so I don't have to rev my bike. But that reminds me. How many minutes? We're in four minutes in of drifting. Oh god, this one's... This one's a doozy. Let me tell you what. Just throw a freaking bomb at him. That's one way to do it. Saves on bullets. All right, so Sarah's had a breakthrough. Let's go see what it is. And in the meantime, too, I mean, I I haven't actually checked if we're able to make that napalm yet. That'll be really good. Nope. Still only Molotovs. Okay. Well, let's see what Sarah wants. Hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. <laughs> she's... She's... Oh, man. No, no. It's gonna bite somebody. She's gonna bring it into that camp. Did she get permission for this? Where am I gonna put it? Is it gonna hold okay, my hand? Just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, it's a nude. Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific nude? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Nudes. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of nudes. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. No, we practically have, I'm sure. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. No, I didn't think that was going to happen anyway. But as long as they're around the same time, what's Sir, it matter? I'm here. All right, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh... How am I supposed to get the one that you want without getting the rest? Look, I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. I'm glad we can kill him, because I am.
it's Let it bite your butt. He'll do it too. She'll she'll bite your butt. We haven't had to mess with the Nero people in a while. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. You two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. Professional. No one thinks it's suspicious that he has Sarah tattooed on his neck. Damn, what'd you do? Cause the brain to blow up? God damn. <laughs> well, I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. <laughs> damn it! What's your problem? What's it gonna do? It's got it's like missing half its body. That kid's gonna be fucked up if you bring it back. Everything that I have worked on is for nothing. Uh that's a good thing. Why don't you just work on a vaccine that will help prevent it instead of changing them back? Dust yourself off. Try again. No, don't try again. That's severe atrophy. Their whole. What just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me. You know what? That used to be someone's kid. I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way we do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way we do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first same person I've seen in two years. Mm, no. No. The night that I lost you, but no. I'm starting to realize. F and Chad, if you agree with me, this is crap. It wasn't the night that I had 
left you on that chopper, it was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming something. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the that I lost. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's... <laughs> He just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war, and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work. Seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, not doing a very good job. So, well, I don't know. That worked really well as a weapon. As long as you don't have to inject it, you know? I'd give up. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. What the? F what in the hell? Stop, stop this game. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to do this. We're gonna go AWOL. You know, if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, the Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <laughs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. How you talking, man? Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. Sorry, I kind of zoned out. I usually talk yeah, during those. My bad. Here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... 
slow him down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> He doesn't even have a sniper. We're in Got trouble. Ammo. My saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. Let's drop. Okay. Well, see you later. I'm off to die. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks and buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. But once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. St. John. Hawk's got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. Well, I just want to check out I the area. You. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that. got a quarter of them okay um hmm this one might be tough oh, crap it's gonna make me walk all the way down here again hold on more than one. Thank you. Can you please? Oh, 
Okay. Alright, I didn't know this was an option. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever. It'll take them a while to get through. Once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. That's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. Shit, that didn't go as planned. That didn't go as planned.
shit. I don't know if I can. <laughs> oh my god. This one's tough. Ooh. I might have to do this one tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta work a little bit. I'll try it one more time since we were halfway. But if that doesn't work, then I'll have to, I'll have to do it tomorrow. So we got some remote bombs, and I don't. So I don't know if it only detonates if you're close to it, which is why I didn't place them all down. But this time I'm just gonna go for it. Tell me your plan again. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Sounds like bitches like to pop up, climb all over each other. All right, so right they're there, still space, everywhere. Trucks, buildings, whatever. It'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat, uh, a few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. I'd rather be up on a done. building. Oh, you know. Sorry. A safe place. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. A safe little building. You know, like up on the roof where they can't get me. Okay, so we gotta wait for them all to meander back over there. And then we can start placing down our traps. Ooh, nice coffee spot. And then I kind of need to figure out my route, too, that I gotta lead them through. Because once I end up over here, it gets kind of difficult. There are some trucks over there. Let me just go see what it looks like. Nice little flatbed. If I could climb over that really quickly, that might be of use. And then just keep running. You know. So maybe, maybe I'll go this way this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place one, like, right here. Because what I can do is run through here. Maybe place another bomb. Right here. And then if I can quickly slide through there, that should stop a couple of them. And then what I'll do is run around here, because I'm sure some of them will be following me. And actually, I could use this to my advantage too. So make it blow up extra loud. And then I'll also get this one over here. Because we don't know how they're going to come in. And then if that works, some of them might be coming in over here. But I'll be ready to throw it, just in case. Because I'll have been coming over here. I'll run around, depending on how bad the horde is. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to go around like this. And then we can come back up through here. 
and then I can start throwing them again and I'll even put a nice little bomb right there and then worst case scenario I've got some grenades etc all I have to do is remember to hit the detonator as we're running by them and and hope that the God, I hope we're not too close to the other one. That's all I'm worried about. Okay, so I still have the stamina cocktails. That's good. So the plan is to run up through here. Fly over that thing. No. Have the napalm ready. And... I really want a proximity. Is there uh, any scrap around here? It probably shouldn't take this long to like prepare, but I've already lost a couple times, so I just want to, you know, I just want to make sure I'm good. I don't see any scrap, so wait, is that some? Oh, car alarm. Okay. Well, let's try it again. No stamina. I need you to run. Okay, well I gotta work. I can't keep doing this. Oh, this one's tough. I just want to be on a rooftop. I just want to be able to run on my bike far away. This is interesting. You can skip it. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe eventually. I wish The Last of Us had that one. Okay. Well. Yep. So, thank you for watching, and we will continue this tomorrow. Uh, take care, everybody.